Hey, morning kids. Um, for UIL Computer Science, I want to go back over the printf statement. Um, we may have forgotten what these items are, so we're going to uh, go back up, back over it a little bit so we can be familiar with it if we see it on the test. Um, the, basically, it's a print statement, but we're formatting how we want the arguments to come out. Down here falls into the argument area, right? Up here, usually it's all lined out in one straight line. But from this point to here, where the flags are, is how we want to put out this data. And everywhere you see a dollar sign and a, and a number, everywhere you see a dollar sign and a number, the number in dollar sign. These are placeholders or parameters. Placeholders or parameters. So this said, this is talking about the first argument. First argument right here. This is talking about the sex, second argument. That's the 10. This is talking about the third argument. These right here. And this is talking about the fourth argument. So if you just look at this as a whole right here, we're just talking about this first part. Okay. So we're talking, I mean, it could be in a different location, but the, this right here says it's the first argument in a location. All right. So we're talking about diet soda. So we know if it, when it prints out, the first thing that's going to come out is something about diet soda. All right, and these are the flags. This is like commas. The commas. These are more like this here, the commas. Okay. More represents commas. See, we got commas. They're called flags. Say, hey, this is a new argument or new argument. Okay. These are flags. The best way to describe them is their commas, you know, comma 12.5, comma 1.25, comma 10, comma diet soda, right? Just saying, hey, we're talking about a specific area, all right? And which specific area? Place one. Where's place one? Right here. This is place one. That's one, two, three, and four. Here's one. Here's two. Here's three. And here's four. All right, and you'll notice one, two, three, and four. All right, and then the the very end of it, and let me use a different color. The very end of it, like this one here, this one here, uh, this one here, and this one here. S equals string value hits the string value string, so it's diet soda. That's the string value. This one here, D, equals decimal. Hence, the decimal the decimal number right here. Decimal, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Integer. My bad. Integer. All right. Here, the, the F. Floating point. That means a decimal point. Integer is also a decimal, so I just want to remember this. It doesn't have a decimal point in it. It's just a decimal number, all right? A number, all right? Decimal point in it. All right, which hits 1.25. And if you notice, F is on that one too, 12.25. I mean, no, I mean 12.50. So this is a string. This is decimal or uh, 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 integer floating point, which is a decimal point, floating point. All right. So those are the basic characteristics of that statement. Now, we learned previously.
for me last semester that this part here is how many spaces were allowed. For instance, diet soda. One, the, 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 the minus sign is alignment, all right? In this case, it aligns it to the left. So it's basically the alignment, all right? So diet soda. We know each line, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This says 30, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right? You'll see a long space between it and the next one. Okay? But it aligned it to the left. Okay? If I remember correctly, the minus sign is to the left. All right? And then, pretend this is an extension over here. Um, matter of fact, uh, you're going to see uh, which one we're talking about, two, which is the 10. So next will be the 10. And how many places will it have, right? 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then the next one, okay? This would be the flag. Let's do, I mean, the flag. And then we do the next flag. It doesn't show it up there. I'm just putting it there for an example. But you got the flag, 10. What's the third one? 1.25. It's 1.25. And you see 10.2. It means two places after the the, 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 the decimal the, 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 the decimal point. All right? So 1.25. So it's going to go like this. It's going to be 1.25. Two places passed, and then it's going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we have the next one. Okay. Might talk a little fast, but hopefully you get it. Um, which one's the next one? We're talking about the fourth one. All right. It's another decimal point. And it's also saying we're going to have ten, I mean, ten spots. And we're going to be two points. We're going to be two numbers past the decimal point. So in this case, it was 12.25. 12 12.25. 12 then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that's it. So the outcome would look like that. You know, all in one straight line. I got it down to a different line. But this would be on the end here and so on and so on. Um, again. The percentage is like commas, okay? They're like just comma marks. Um, the dollar sign with a number, the dollar sign with a number is telling you placeholding moment, the mailboxes or the argument place, right? And then at the very end of each one of the printing uh, uh, statements, there's going to tell you what it, what what data type it is. For instance, this is a S. That means a string value. String value. At the end of this one is a D, decimal. Some type of decimal number, right? Or an integer is a better way to understand it. Um, I've been saying decimal. I mean, uh, an integer, okay? Remember, that's an integer. Okay, so S equals string. Uh, D equals uh, integer. And then F, floating point. which means it's a decimal, decimal number, a decimal point. It has a decimal point. Ah. It has a decimal point like uh, 1.25 or 
12.25. In this one, in this problem, it's 1.25 or 12.5. The integer in this case was 10. And the string value here was diet soda. All right? So those are what those means. Okay, if you see a minus sign, it's aligning it to the left. Uh, if, if I remember correctly, uh, digits, numbers automatically line to the left. But uh, words actually go to the right. And I might have it backwards. I'll have to double check, but it's, it's been a little bit. But the alignment is determined. That just tells you. I, I believe that the minus sign means it lines to the left. Okay. Um, and the and I think that was it. And then at the very end, after you get past the quotation and you see a comma, the next part are the arguments. All right, that's the, the other part of it. So hopefully that will help. Flags, like commas, and then the number with a dollar sign is placeholders. Um, and then the minus sign, I mean, if you have any sign like a minus sign or a plus sign, it's talking about alignment. Uh, but other than that, if you just see a number, that's how many, um, uh, what's that word? Cursor spots would be a good example, I guess. Cursor spots that you have for like diet soda, you had 30 cursor spots. And then you had 10 cursor spots for 10 and 10 cursor spots for with uh, two decimal points, which is uh, 1.25. Same with 12.5. You had 10 cursor spots with a, with a decimal point two places past the decimal point. Um, hopefully that was understandable. If you have any questions, you know how to email me. All right.